What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Mundo Top game. We've got the set matchup, a classic. Very, very exciting. Nighty night. And I've got a chat in the bottom left there from Augustine Guerrero. Augustine, but I it's not showing up on my Twitch stream chat, so I think it might be from YouTube. So if my YouTube and Twitch chat go, shows up on this Twitch box down here, on this uh, chat box, that'd be pretty hype, but I don't know if it does. So if you're in YouTube chat right now, say something in chat and I'll see if I can read it in game. Yo, yeah, YouTube chat shows up. That's so hype, actually, because I was super sad that it wasn't showing up in my stream labs. That the YouTube chat, Almond Overwatch, what's up, bro? Glad to have y'all here. You know, glad to have some YouTube viewers. Not a lot of people, uh, I mean, I've only been streaming, I've only been dual streaming on Twitch and YouTube for... Uh, this is like my second time dual streaming. This guy's eating my cleavers. Love to see it. Mundo cells. You tell indeed. Oh man, I'm smacking this guy. Oh, this would be such an ideal gank moment here. Super good. Super good. Exciting. And the mid laners killed each other. Bro, what's going on? What's going on in the bot lane? Sad. This guy's still hella out farming me. Because I just can't step up. Gotta gotta dodge his grab first. Grasp. Mm, that poke's starting to add up, huh, Set? Dude, are you kidding me? I couldn't pop my W there, man. Dynasty 
Okay, I got my ult now, so I think I could probably dodge a Hecarim, Hecarim ult if I wanted to. Oh, there's Rumble. Great job. Well, good early. This is going to be a little easier. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I'm going to pick up Anathemas. Anathemas always makes everything easier. I think the Heart Steel Rush is overrated. I think I'm gonna do. annoying that I I mean can I stay maybe wait for my ult to come up Gotta push this wave. So I'm praying the Hecarim isn't here. Looks like he's mid. I'm doing it. I'm getting the plates. Okay, I've got my anathemas. Stonks, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna check my YouTube chat real quick. Hell yeah. Stonks, baby. Yep, now he can't do anything to me. My anathemas is, will be stacked a little bit after I arrive in lane. He back to get his work.
Anathema's diff. He is so sad. Hecarim could be coming here, so I'm going to be careful. Got the gold still. Alright, I think I'm ahead enough that Heart Steel is worth it. Escape, huh? Sad. Just gonna fight this guy. Hecarim came here instead of getting drag. I don't know why. Couldn't even kill it. He killed the minions too fast. I just didn't expect them all to come top, man, when drag is up. It's so weird. Hoggers. What's up, Muscat? Welcome. Yeah, this game is over. Look at this Lilia, dude. You can't do anything to a fed Lilia. Plus, in this case, I believe Anathemas is going to be a pretty good choice to put onto Rumble. I can just build some armor items, and then... Drop anathemas on rumble, nobody will damage me. If I build full armor after that. We'll just keep farming here to ensure the scale. This is an example of Set losing the lane because of his poor wave management and macro. As a top laner, wave management determines the riskiness of your of your position. And he he didn't push the wave fast enough to get it out from- to- to crash it under tower. Set is bought. Just want to keep vision control here.
Oh, it's freaking Rift. I was like, should we take Baron? But it's 15 minutes, or it's 16 minutes. Almost got my... Heart steel. Oh, the tippers blocked my cleaver. It's crazy, actually. Steel. Alrighty, I am massive. I don't have a lot of farm. So maybe not, maybe I'm not massive. But I do have my anathemas on the rumble. TP, uh, TP bot if set keeps pushing. Yeah, I'm like, my eyes are glued to the minimap, so if I'm moving weird, it's because I'm literally just watching the minimap here. They win that fight, so no need for me to... Mines are pushing. Just hit it once. Just teach him a lesson. Ooh, they're still mid. Hey, <laughs> set flash the wall. So weird, man. This guy's such a weird player. I don't need heal reduction. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for a randuins here. I would go for Sunfire, but I think I can literally take towers underneath a set. And I don't want Sunfire to to cause tower aggro. Oh, I should have dropped a ward actually. And then teleport and backdoor the inhib. That would have been crazy. Keep my eyes open. 
I want to push this, put us in a good position to defend Baron, perhaps. Before you get an objective, you always want to get Pryo by pushing the two lanes on the two nearby lanes. Two hearts, steel procs there. And we win the fight super hard. Not bad. I'm playing super. Oh my god. I'm playing like super aggro here and ego because I'm so fed that they always need to send two or three people onto me so even if i die it's worth it because my team is getting stuff around the map so you know if 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 i'm top and they have to send two people to top that's a free drag for us well, i'm thinking about teleporting but that sounds like a terrible idea actually or like if i'm if i'm here at inhib and they come down to get me then that's a free baron for my team Or my team collapses and kills them and we get Baron anyway, plus, you know, three kills or however many it was. So it's just super easy. So it may seem like I'm being stupid and dying for no reason, but like I'm totally aware of where the enemy is where the enemy is. Oh, I hit you. Is my damage. I thought I could one tap the heck room there. Is he actually healing that much? I think I might have hit a minion. Fuck, that's annoying. I'm gonna go visit here. Still have teleport. This Zed is splitting so hard. He's got demolish. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that sounds pretty good. Demolish, split, push Zed. What is that Ezreal ult? Probably have a ward there, right? Ho! Oh. We're playing greedy. We should probably... I don't even know, bro.
Okay, he killed the rumble. Should be able to end, to be honest. Still my passive. Give me. I clicked on the other side of the wall to try and flash over because I was going to flash over, but I was standing too far. So when I clicked on the other side of the wall, I stepped backwards. It's so annoying. I stepped backwards so that and the set could ult me. Fuck, man. If I was better, I would have insta flashed over the wall after I killed the Tristana. Or I just needed to click like inside of the door. Fuck man. Nah, I'm just gonna go for Rab for a uh, Titanic. Alright, let's see if I can end, guys. By the way, the reason I took Flash into the set matchup, which I don't usually do... Or, well, I don't usually take Flash in the top lane in general, but I do take it into the set matchup because Set has um, his, like, true damage haymaker, his W. I do not want to get hit by the true, true damage of that. And if he slows me properly with his ult or with his grab, then I can actually... Then sometimes, even with Ghost, you can't dodge it. It's impossible to dodge. So... Got a, we've got a super wave, so there's no need to chase. Hey GG guys, if you liked the video, make sure to uh, drop a like. Make sure to comment. Love hanging out with you guys, chatting with you guys in chat. Thank you to all my YouTube viewers as well. Thanks for being here. Mundo out.